Well, hello everybody. Today's Thanksgiving Day, 2018, and my name is Bob. We're going to make the Bob Specialty Homemade Apple Pie that I've been doing for the last 35 years. Okay? So you'll notice I've got six Granny Smith apples. I've got uh, a cup here, and basically this is all our stuff that we need. It's three quarters of a cup of sugar, two teaspoons of cinnamon, and two tablespoons of of flour and make sure that you level off the tablespoon okay so you'll also notice I got a little uh, a peeler apple peeler potatoes it works for everything it's really cool so we're gonna start with that and uh, basically what you gotta do is you gotta bring this thing back all the way back and basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stick this apple right in here it's a hell of a lot easier than uh, trying to do it with a knife and there you go pull it out beautiful then you just gotta do the rest cut it up and bingo we'll throw that right in the sink and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's just do one more just so you guys can see how cool this is. Gotta bring it back. And then just, there you go. So uh, we'll be back on the next step. Uh, let me do these apples and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, we're back. You'll see that I've got everything all cut up all uh, peeled and ready to go so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice the apples and basically we want thin slices they cook much better so we're just gonna start on the sides and we're gonna nice little slices and we're gonna turn it around a little bit each side of the apple has to be sliced. And there we go. Throw the rest out. And uh, I'll go ahead and slice them up and we'll be back. Okay, we're back. And you'll notice I've got some uh, Pillsbury pie crust, America's number one pie crust. Okay, we're gonna be using that for the crust. And you'll notice that I've got all my apples sliced up ready to go, okay? So let's go ahead and, uh, and get this pie crust out. And you'll see that we have two of these. This is pretty easy to do. You take them out. And uh, basically you just unravel it. And uh, by the way, this fits a, uh, a nine inch pie pan. So basically what you do is you just stick, stick it in there and uh, just work it around. Make sure you're pretty even on all sides. Make sure that you get the, you know, the, uh, the bottom edge firmly to uh, you know, make the dough firmly uh, on the bottom over there. Okay, and then, then uh, pretty much fold these uh, edges over a little bit. And 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to start uh, layering the apple slices. But the first thing I want to do, what I normally do is I just put a little bit of, of the, uh, the sugar and all this other good stuff on the bottom. Because, you know, when you, put, when you make the pie, it actually turns into juice. And then uh, just start layering the apples. Try not to put them right on top of each other uh, on each layer because we like to have them thin. Thin slices. Then you can pick some other pieces if you want and just kind of fill in some smaller pieces. And uh, basically there's our first layer. So what we're going to do is we're just going to coat this with a little bit of sugar, seasonings, or whatever it is, and uh, then we're going to go ahead and put the next layer on. You don't have to put too much because you got to make sure that you have enough for each layer for the entire pie. Grab some more. And start putting another layer on. Here you go. There's another layer. We're going to go ahead and put another layer of <clears throat> the sugar and whatever else we got over here. And just to show you. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put the other layers on. And, uh, and we'll be back in a second, okay? See you in a minute. Okay, we're back. And you'll notice that I'm up here towards the top. But what we want to do is we want to make like a little mound on the top. You know how an apple pie is like a little mound. So we're just going to start building up towards the center. Just kind of make it a little mound a little bit. Put a little more sugar and you'll see that I've used up just about all the sugar. We still have quite a few apples left, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and put one more layer. Kind of round the pie out a little bit. And there you go. Just put the rest of the sugar on here. I think we need another couple of pieces.
And there you have it. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little lemon juice. Just a couple of drops on the top. Okay, that's what the recipe calls for. That's what we're doing. And then what we do is we put a little butter right on top of those apples. About five pieces. Spread them out a little bit and put one in the middle. And there you have it. Okay? So we're ready to put the, uh, the crust on the top. And here's how we're going to do that. Gonna unroll it. I'm gonna lay it right on top of the pie. And again, make sure that the dough is all the way around centered on top of the pie. Okay, because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be crimping the edge all the way around between the top piece and the bottom piece. And basically what I do is I kind of like, let me see if I can show you. I kind of like wrap it under, the top piece under, kind of roll it over and go all the way around. And you're going to see when I get done here, then we're going to crimp it. Kind of squeeze them together a little bit. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of squeeze them together like this, okay? Just like an apple pie. And this is something that you don't have to be exact about, that's for sure. And there you have it. I'm going to push them towards the edge a little bit. And uh, the next step, we're gonna we're gonna just uh, brush a little bit of milk on the top, and uh, we're gonna put some aluminum foil around the crust because we don't want to burn the crust. So we also want to make a little hole in the middle. To let the uh, steam out, and then basically we want a couple of slices. So we're gonna make some slices in the dough four of them okay so we'll be back in a second I got to get that aluminum foil ready and uh, some milk we'll be back okay we got our milk got our little brush and uh, basically what we're just gonna do is just dab this around make sure you get it on the crust this makes the uh, the uh, crust brown comes to a nice brown Now, this is Thanksgiving, so uh, normally, like, if it's Christmas, I make two pies a year, that's it, okay? Christmas time, 
You can take some of them blue and red flakes and just kind of sprinkle them on the pie as well. Kind of makes it pretty. Okay? So we'll be back. We got to get the aluminum foil and uh, see you in a minute. Okay, I just want to show you um, how you can do the aluminum foil pretty easy. We don't want too much. We just want a strip. So just pull it out a little bit. Make a nice little strip. And you're going to need about three of these. So let me cut the other ones and uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we have the aluminum foil. Basically what I like to try to do is just kind of uh, make a little bend in the middle of that aluminum foil so that we can go around that that cookie dough or that uh, pie dough. And, and I'll tell you what, when you put this on, the aluminum foil on, do not press too hard onto the dough because we're going to be taking that off. And basically what we're going to be doing is cooking the pie at 400 degrees for 35 minutes. Okay, after 35 minutes is up, we're going to uh, be taking this aluminum foil off and then cooking the pie for another 10 minutes. And you might want to crimp in between the, uh, the pieces just to keep it together. But we just want to gently rest that aluminum foil. Okay, 35 minutes are done. And basically what we're going to do now is take that aluminum foil off. It's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Go ahead and we're going to stick that back in for another 10 minutes. And we'll be back. Okay, Chef Lisa and Chef Bob's Apple Pie 2018. And uh, to be honest with you, we thought we were going to need an extra 10 minutes, but you do have to check it because you'll see it is absolutely perfect. And uh, there you go. Enjoy. Happy Thanksgiving. See you next time. Please like and share this video.